The influence of emerging technology is changing and transforming education in the classroom. Solihull College and University Centre's innovative technology is playing a key role, enhancing teaching and learning experiences for staff and students. Nick Wallace went to Solihull to see how the college is looking at virtual reality as a game changer for the future. I'm just on the top floor, see a few holes from the space station, so I'm going to weld them shut. Virtual reality can take you anywhere. These VR and gaming undergraduates at Solihull College and University Centre are testing their latest creation. I think we could use some sound effects, but that's about it. Just so like when, they, when we see the fire, there's actually we can hear the fire. The students on this course aren't just the games programmers of the future. As virtual and augmented reality become part of our everyday lives, they'll likely end up working across a number of different industries. A shift to digital is also taking place in education, and the college is finding its students more than willing to adopt VR technology. Guys, right, we've got two guests today, Tom and Lee from the Learning Technology team. Uh, we're going to do a little exercise using the virtual reality headsets. On the Public Services BTEC course, the students here are about to use VR to experience an emergency first responder scenario. So if you want to pick up your headsets, pop them on. The students have to describe what they're seeing to partners acting as call operators. He just walked out in front of me. I, I couldn't see him. Virtual reality creates an instant cost-effective training exercise. It felt like more realistic and it was like as if I was actually at the scene. It was very immersive. I felt like I was in a different place. It was great because I felt like I was experiencing something whole new and different. The team tasked with introducing virtual reality to their colleagues at Solihull College and University Centre have found they're often pushing at an open door. It does not take long for them to buy into this idea. All it takes is to put one of these headsets onto face, be immersed in that experience, and they very quickly recognise the link between how that could be implemented within a classroom to take and change the dynamic of this, your traditional teaching approach. There are more than 5,000 students at Solihull College and University Centre and the management team would like to see every student using VR. Because a lot of them are visual learners and they might not learn from textbooks, but when you got a headset on and you're walking around the human body and you're dissecting and looking at the different parts, I mean, the learning, learning experience that they're going to get from that is uh, going to be amazing. Learning at the Animal and Land Management Centre is very hands-on, yet VR has its uses here too. These experienced students are allowed to enter the meerkat enclosure at the college, but not everyone is. Virtual reality gives first-year students an opportunity to get close to the animals straight away. I thought it was really cool. I'm a visual learner, so I'm always drawing and doodling things about what I'm learning about. So having that and being able to look around and see the animals and see what, how people are handling the animals really helped me understand. It's really like eye-opening because you don't really have the chance to be in the enclosure of like a meerkat. It's really beneficial. I quite like experimenting with IT in the classroom. Um, we we'll find that students come in that have been sort of used to smart boards in school, you know, throughout their early years. And, you know, you, I've got, you know, got children that are very young that can pick up an iPhone and use it very intuitively. And we find that students are actually a lot more IT savvy than some of the staff. And so I really felt the need to sort of keep up with the students as well. Year two student Megan Fisher is a VR convert. She thinks VR learning was instrumental in helping her pass her first year and she now enjoys demonstrating it to younger students. I've been around in schools and done the VR with year nine students last time um, and we done it with an animal care centre video and I think everyone was so shocked because it's very, very easy me telling the students, OK, we have meerkats here, we have goats here, but I don't actually think they understand how far we go into learning as us just telling them. So we had a really, really, really good feedback from them. Most young people reaching college age expect to experience things visually. When virtual reality is implemented with appropriate levels of investment and support, it generates enthusiasm and inspires students to get the most from their education.